All right. So what we're going to do is do some n cos sim to make um, some sort of effect like this. You see, I did this for the this character. I made a, a skirt cloth simulation thing. So what we're going to do, I'm going to make, we're going to make a cape for this person. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make a plane, drag it over here, make it bigger, make it, you know, roughly the size of the cape we want. I'm going to lower the subdivisions a bit so we can mess with it a little easier. And let's even go for this. Let's go down to one and one. So then we'll just kind of make it, you know, roughly, you know, capes or something like this. And that might be too tall. You might have to mess with these things on your own, but for your own cape. All right, so now we have this set up here. Let's just go into our modeling, go to mesh. Um, smooth, and we'll just go up to like five. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's probably good for now, for demo purposes at least. All right, so now what we need to do is go over into the effects menu, go up here to field solvers, add gravity. I already have gravity because I set it up earlier, but. And then you go up here to end cost, and you need to create passive collider on this guy. So that means that the collider shows up here. Maybe. Oh, I didn't care my history. Anyway, it's there. And it makes it so the cloth will actually hit it. All right, next thing we're going to do is... That doesn't look like it's totally lined up. I'm actually going to mess with this a little bit just to make it um, curve around shoulders a little more. And we'll move this one over here. Something like that. It's not going to be perfect, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so now we go up here and create end cloth. All right, so now we have our end cloth, and it will fall. See? But we want it to stick to something. So what we're going to do is go into vertex mode, and... Nope, I don't want all of them. I just want the ones here. Nope, I didn't do them all. Let's see if we can just select them easily. Oh, nice. That worked. Okay. And then shift-click this guy and go up here to end constraint and do point to surface. So this will make them, um, you see that it constrained all the points there. So now when it falls, it will attach to service. All right, so let's see how that looks when it stops falling. All right, we have a half decent cape here. I'll show you a couple more things too, so we can make this look a little bit better even. All right, so the cape fell. Doesn't look terrible, but it's not perfect yet. Let's click on this, and it'll automatically open up your end cloth thing, your attribute in the attribute editor. Then go down here to silk. Let's try silk, see what that looks like. Silk does take a little bit longer processing, so it does look better generally in my experience, though. So maybe I'll edit it out so we don't have to see it. All right, and nearly 800 frames later, we have a cape that looks pretty good, I think. Obviously, there's plenty of stuff we can do to make it look cooler, but there's plenty of settings you can fiddle with to make it look cooler, basically. But we're just going to go with this one for now because it looks, it looks good. And so then if you want to keep it, you just duplicate it there. So now you have plane 7. And if you go back, plane 7 stays where it needs to be. Then you can just uh, delete those constraints and this end cloth and object and now you've got that so now you've got a cape and if you want you can go up to mesh uh, smooth and smooth it one more time and it makes it look a little bit looks a little cool so yeah it's a pretty simple way to make a, a quick cape or any other type of clothing object I did it the same way over here you can hit play and it uh, spins it yeah, 
Um, hopefully that's pretty helpful. If you have any questions, I can maybe help you out. Thanks for watching. See ya.